Sumerian. He's an acrostic stanza or a poem or a song that's written in alphabetical order. So it's A, B, C, D. Abbasidarian. So it's, it's an Abbasidarian verse, okay? Now, today is Psalm 119 and all its glorious meaning which I've been coming across this week. First little thing, what is 119? What are the two numbers that would go into that? The two largest numbers that would go into that? Both of them prime numbers. These are numbers that nothing else to go into except themselves. 7, 11, 13, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What's the sixth prime number, by the way? 666. Sin, 13. Two of those go into that. 7? Seven and seventeen. Seven times are seventeen. Mm -hmm. Seven sevens are forty-nine. Yeah. So Psalm one one nine is seven by seventeen. So that's going to bring out a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a treasure trove in there. Now, seven is spiritual perfection, God, and the other is ordinal perfection plus spiritual perfection, which is a seventeen. So we got 7 by 17. Now, if John, Genesis 8, 4. These are what Satan doesn't like. And the arm rested in the seventh month on the 17th day of the month upon the mountain of Ararat. So on the 17th of the 7th, yeah. that was an important time, wasn't it? Yeah. He destroyed all the wicked and saved a family on the ark. How many people on the ark? Eight. Eight. Then, Exodus 13, 20, tell me please. Thirteen twenty. yeah. Exodus 13, 20. Right. So he took their journey from Sukkoth and camped in Etham at the edge of the wilderness. And then 14, 2. Speak to the children of Israel that they turn and camp before Pi. By Hebroth, between Migdol and the sea, opposite Baal Zephon. You shall camp before it by the sea. Mm. So they came out on the Passover, did the blood on the doors, didn't they? Yeah. Right over the post, Passover. Unleavened, they came out 15, went to Islam, then went to that other place that Tony <laughs> mentioned that begins with P. Another two oh, days. Oh, oh, yeah. 15, 16, 17, 17 to the 7. Israel, the nation, are through into on the wilderness now, on the way to the promised land. What does God do? Drowns all the Egyptians' chariots, 17 to 7 again. And then we know uh, Mark 16, 1. Sheila, please. Now, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. So this was the first day of the week. He'd written in the previous Sunday, on the first day of the week, on the 10th of my son. He became the Passover lamb. Three days in the earth, Jonah was in the well, 17th. And that was the 17th of the 7th again. It's just that in Exodus they turned the 7th month into the first month. So this person was going to come, who was 888, we learned that last week, didn't we? He's 888. He was going to rise on the 17th of the 7th. So he was going to save the world. So we have the, we have the 
family say, <coughs> the nation of Israel say, and then salvation of the world. Amen. Okay. Now, in English, if you look at Psalm 119, Jacob. Jacob. 
So the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob. Mm. This is the promised seed. Now Noah and Shem raise on the ark. Okay? And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight again. <coughs> eight generations. And then you get Terah, 119 years. And you, we've got Abraham. So we've got the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is our promised seed, if you like. Okay? That's not my important. It's just to show you that the eight, the eight and the one, one, nine come in again. <coughs> now, Romans six twenty three, please, children. And the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. What will you choose? Death or life? Now, go back to those Hebrew sheets I gave you. Yeah? If you look across the, in that case, the Bible, so you've got, it's like a, um, an Aleph, yeah? And then go across, you get two dots, that's the end of a Hebrew sentence, which is two from the end. And then I circled another one and written two on it. So that's the, that's the second line of this, of this verse, okay? Then you go into the next one, I circled the third, and then the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth. All those 22 letters of the alphabet have eight, eight lines each. So you've got the 22 by 8, which is 176. Verses of Psalm 119, that's the Aleph to Psalm. So you've got 22 blocks of eight verses. Every one of the first ones, all eight, begin with Aleph. Then you can drop down to it, you can't see it in English, you can see it in Hebrew. Then 9 to 16, they all begin with Beth, okay? Is everybody with me? Yeah. Right, what did you understand? Right, on the First, we get over here, we've got the Kuf, we've got an Atef, okay, this is, the, this is Hebrew. So when you're on there, what's, what's a, what's a, oh, Kuf, please. One hundred. Yeah. And Yod? He's got a meal, really. Yod? Ten. 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 And Tef? Nine. 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 So that Hebrew Bible, the Torah, the Tanakh, is telling me the back of Psalm 119, okay? We're now going to go in and read Psalm 119. That's what the, that side says. The other side is a word. Bear in mind it goes that way. That begins with an Aleph. Okay, I've circled the word. And it's a word that begins with Aleph. So, A is Aleph in Hebrew. And then you go along, you get two dots eventually after so many words. Yeah. And that's the end of that sentence. Okay? Then they start a new Hebrew word, which also begins with an Aleph. Okay, I get what and it goes up to the double dots again. Yeah. Then they start with the third one, up to the double dots, fourth one, double dots, fifth one, double dots, sixth one, double dots. Seventh one, double dots. Eighth one, double dots. That's the end of Aleph. We explained it Aleph eight times. Then we will go with Beth. And they will do that Beth for eight times. Then Gimel for eight times. Then Dalet for eight times. And it will go all the way. Bear in mind, so this is a poem with lines, and they're all real words. Do you know what I mean? It's not. Yeah. So. Absolutely. It's like Melton and um, Longfellow put in with, you know, prophecy as well. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, so you've got six verses, which is 22 of the Aleph Tower, with eight on every letter of the alphabet. Okay? Right. That's, that's for the foundation set. So as Sheila said, the wages of sin we get a payment of yeah. death. And through the gift of God, we get eternal life. Eternal life. Yeah. 
It's quite a different from Jesus time. Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we'll do the bad one first. So the, the God is a called consuming fire. What is he? Fire. Fire. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Travel down again this way. Um, in Hebrew, that is Ash Ochlan. He is an Ash Ochlan. That's what God is, an Ash Ochlan. Now in Hebrew, that is Aleph Sheen Aleph Kate Lamed Hey, which to me and tell us Esh Okla is. No, I don't think it was Aleph. Aleph is one. Aleph is one. Sheen is third, 300. 300. Next one, Mark. Please. I'll have again. I'll have again, yeah, it's one, yeah. K, C, H, A, P, H. C, H, A, P, H, 20. 20 spawn. And then Alamed. Alamed is. Oh, Alamed is 30. 30. And then back to Hay. Hay is 5. 5. So an S or Kla, he's a consuming fire. That is a total 357, isn't it? Oh, that's good, isn't it? 357. We'll have to get in before John, though. He's <laughs> still trying to work it out, so... <laughs> Follow that. Man. 357, eh? Yeah. Hello, King. 3 by 119? Ah! Is that 3 by 119? 3 by 119. Oh, it's mm. 3 by 119. That's incredible. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, but if he's not... A consuming fire. Actually, John, can you read Deuteronomy 4, 23 and 24? That's amazing. Alright, can I turn it after this though, after we start the scripture again? Deuteronomy. Phenomenal. Where? Deuteronomy chapter 4, chapter 4, 23 and 24. How can you not get excited by that? Mm. That's phenomenal. Take heed unto yourself, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Yeah, so he's a jealous God, he didn't want to have an idols of Buddha. And that was told to Israel. Do not go after other gods. Don't go after Allah, Buddha, Hindu gods. He also repeats this to us. It's the letter to the Hebrews. But, I mean, they, they were Hebrews that became Christians. Tell me, please. Hebrews 12, 28, 29. Ah. I'll call that the church. Well, I don't like the church nowadays, as it were. Uh, the craft is in the branches. <coughs> Sorry, just bear with me. Hebrews 12, 28, 29. Hebrews 12, 28, and 29. I've got three books to juggle there. <laughs> Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Thank you. Please have reverence and proper. Amen. Yeah. Can I just say something, Mark, very quickly? Well, I mean, you know, you said something about the young Buddhas and things like that. False gods. Yeah. yeah, well, my next door neighbour had <coughs> Buddhas. Uh, yeah, what I was not, I wasn't getting this, um, the 357 and 419 times 3. What, yeah. what, is, what is the. Well, 3 is out of the internet, but. Yeah. 419. I've done got the significance of that. It was based on the sun that we were studying today. Okay. <laughs> 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 that was. That was, that was 
17 by 7. Okay. Yeah, which is 119. Okay. So right. I was saying, with that, he's got all these precepts, laws, commandments, the nine, uh, the nine, what's the word? Okay. God has got laws, and if you break them, you're going to be punished. Okay? Yeah. Israel were punished. Mm. Christ came to take our punishment. Our, what was due us, we either put on Christ and go to the Bema seat, the mercy seat, or we go to the great white throne and say, was I so bad? And he'll say, yes, you were a sinner, you broke all these nine things. You broke my precepts, my judgments, my commandments, all that. And what Jesus did was take it, so that was the 119, this was 119. I was building it all on 119. Oh, okay, so the 119, you're just saying it's because it's on 119. It's or was the 119 got more in it? In the, yeah. Yes, it's both, both. It's Psalm 119. Yeah. I'm trying to show there's a lot more in 119 than just the 22 letters of the alphabet and the 8 verses. The 8 means something. Everything in that psalm means mm -hmm. something. But 119 is a very important number. Okay. It's the fourth prime, which was 7, by the seventh prime, which was 17. 4 is universal. God is 7, isn't he? Perfection. So it's the fourth prime. And the seventh prime. Yeah. And I was trying to say the one in between, number 30, is the sixth prime, so it's man's imperfect, 13 sin. So 17 by 7 is 119. Yeah. This is Psalm 119. And if you don't obey those precepts, judgments, laws, commandments, it's a consuming fire, or we're going to do the other side of it, right? But they, well, yeah? Yeah, yeah? yeah? So, or, you can have a life-saving restorer of Jesus, isn't he? Mm. So, what was it? The wages of sin is death? <coughs> the gift of God is life. Mm. He's a gift, Jesus. Mm. What did, what did um, I work to get that gift today? What did she do to achieve that? It was her birth. Nothing. Yeah. Well, she does nothing. She does nothing. It's a gift, isn't it? You can't work for it. It's a gift. Yeah. yeah. You just got to believe it's there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So Jesus is the restorer, which in Hebrew is the Shiva. The Shiva, the restorer. He's going to restore that which was lost. Now, guess what? This has a thing as well. <coughs> Which is man and the sheen and the hay. Oh, sorry. And the yod. That's a sheen, sure. And a yod. And a vet. And a hay. And the end. And tell me, tell us what that is, man. Man is 40. Sheen, sheen is 300. So the little yod. A yod is 10. 10. The vet. That, 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 Abraham, 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 and that, and that, and that, and that, 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 that is uh, two, two, and then a hay. Hay is five. Five. So this restorer, what number is it? Three parts of seven. Yeah? Yeah, three parts of so seven. So it can either be, it can either be a restorer, three, five, seven, or it can be a consuming fire. Three, five, seven. Take yeah. a pick. It's, it's the same person. Yeah, it's going to do both. It's so amazing. Same for you or for you. Unbelievable. Which one do you want? It's amazing. Now, Isaiah 38, 16, please, Shiva. No. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me and make me to live. What version is that? King James. Anyone yeah, got the other one? Recover me, that's it, isn't it? But it says restore. And where? Anyone got? You've got restore. You've got. Acts 
21, Derek, please. Restitution, restore Hebrew. So it was said there to Israel, back in Isaiah, and he's told us in the church that he is the restorer. Now, who is this person? Because we know now in hindsight, mm. but they were looking. I think Psalms and Job and that, they're some of the oldest books of the Bible, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this was a long, 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 long time ago. Who was this person? Well, in the Old Covenants, there's a man called Yeshua, who's going to be promised in Hebrew. Yes. Guess how many times that's mentioned in the Old Covenant? Well, Joshua. Yeshua. Jesus, the Christ, which is the, the promise of Christ. Same. Yeah. Joshua is the same. Mm -hmm. How many? It be 119, wouldn't it? It was a 119 times he's promised. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Ah. In the Old Testament. And then in the, his other word is, what's he described as? We go to that fellowship sometimes when Jacob turns up. The key. No, the name of Tony's fellowship. Guess how many that times that's mentioned in the entire Bible, the old and the new? One, one, we'll just have a yeah, one, one, one. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. 119 times he's called in the entire Bible, the rock. If you tap it in on one of your one of the appliances, you get the rock 119. <laughs> and Yeshua in the Old Testament is 119, so he's got 119 times. Hmm. And you go to Pat, Revelation 1 5. And in Jesus Christ was the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth and to him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. In his own blood. Now that is the gospel, isn't it, really? Yeah. Right there, right there. Right Read it again, but that's lovely. Sorry? Read again, don't be alive. Was the faithful? It's a martyr. Would, would, would you put that for a martyr? Faithful witness. Now we think of martyr as someone who died. I mean, Jesus did die for what he believed. Yeah. Most of the uh, apostles they died for what they believed as well. And in parts of the world, people are that. But a martyr is actually a witness, a witness to the truth. They're not necessarily. We think of them as someone who dies, but they have to be prepared to die for that truth. But a martyr. Maturia in Greek means a witness. So he was a faithful witness, okay? He witnessed God's word. Now Maturia, we've gone over from the Hebrew in the Old Testament now we're into the Greek. So it's now he's done it for the world. So we're doing this in, in Greek. Right, okay. So we've got Mu, which is M. It's backward. Oh, no, no, that's not this. Mu is 40. Yeah, Mu is 40. You've got Alpha, which is Alpha, rate. which is one. Rue, a hundred. Tau, Tau is three hundred. Upsilon, Upsilon is four hundred. Four hundred. Rue again. Back to Rue is a hundred. Hundred. Iota, one little Iota, one little Yod. Ten. Ten. And an Alpha on the end. One. One. 
Revelation 1 9, who was a faithful witness? That's 900. And was that 900? 952. 952. 952. 952. Yeah. 952. Right. Sorry. <laughs> now, James, where did we get up to? Is that Derek? No, Pat read the witness. Nancy, please, James 117. Three good things bestowed, and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. So the wages of sin were death, but the, the gift Gifts. of God is life. And where does this gift come from? From heaven. Read it again, Nancy, please. Lovely in life. Say one again, please. Lovely in life. Every good thing bestowed and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. It is what it is. So gift. Anyone know what the um, Greek for gift is? It's charisma. We say all that man has got charisma, all he's got, this or he's got that, but it's not. It's a, it, the word is gift in Hebrew. That's you get charismatic. Charismata comes. Charismata. Mm. But it's charisma. I mean, we say charisma, but yes. the, the, the Greek is charisma. Yeah. Which, so, He's a faithful witness, and he's a gift from above, as Nancy just read. Mm. The gift from above is Charlie, which is C-H, Tony, please, in Greek. Um, oh, we're in the Greek, are we? Charlie is uh, 600. Yeah, Alpha. One. That row. Uh, <coughs> row is, that's the job, 100. 100. Iota. Your Iota is 10. Sigma. Sigma is 200. Mu, as in cows. Yeah, Mu is. Oh, where's he going? Oh, Mu is 40, sorry. 40. And then uh, Alpha, which is Alpha on the end. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So, this gift, what's his name? 952. 952 again. So he's the faithful witness, and he's the gift from God, yeah. and they're both. Nine, 952, aren't they? Yeah? Mm. And he was always promised back in that AB Abbasidarian psalm, which is 119, signs eight verses on each side of the alphabet. And 119 by 8, 9 8, sir. Would it be 9? Oh, it's going to be 952. 8108 plus the 7 is 15. So that psalm always told you that Jesus was going to be this man who would be the gift from above. He was going to be the faithful witness to save you from the either either going to go to the consuming fire yeah. or he's going to be your restorer, the Shiva. So he's either your Shiva or your Eshoka. Take your pick. But there is no fence. There's no fence. No. no. Fence. no. Mm. That's amazing, Lord. But it is phenomenal, isn't it? Ah, dear, dear. Mm. And just one little thing. Die, Psalm 83, 6 to 9. So that, 952. 